Question number six. How many years will it take for $15,000 to increase to $18,000 if we compound it continuously at 2.5%? We want our answer to be in the nearest tenth place. Because he says compounding continuously, you should use the formula that I'll just write this down. A, which stands for the amount that you want to get. A is equal to P, stands for the principal. That means how much money that you have right now, right, the current amount. Times E, the special number E on your calculator, raised to the RT power. R stands for the rate, and T is how many years. And now we are just going to go through the questions one more time and then put down all the numbers into letters, okay? So it says, how many years will you take for $15,000? And that's my original amount. So that will be my principal. This, I'll label this as P. And I want this to be increased to $18,000. That's the amount I want to get. That will be my A. Compound it continuously. Use this formula right away. 2.5%. I will change this percentage to decimal, and this will be my rate. I will take the decimal point, move it once, move it twice, to the left, and as you can see, we have 0 0.025. That will be the R, 0 0.025. Plugging all the numbers into the formula, and then that's what can do with it. A is $18,000 equals to P is $15,000 and E is just the E R is that 0 0.025 and the T we don't know that's how many years it will take and that's what we're trying to solve so in this equation notice that the unknown is in the, favorite, it's in the uh, exponent and to solve for T in this case since this is an exponent equation, first of all, let's isolate this part. Isolate this part. I have 15,000 times this. So let me divide 15,000 on both sides to begin with. This way, the 15,000 will cancel each other out. And I will do it right here as well. If you do 18,000 divided by 15,000, you get 1.2. And that equals to e to the 0 0.025 t and now the question is how can we get rid of the e still the t is in the exponent and whenever you have an equation that the unknown is in the exponent you are going to do logs and in this case when you want to take log on both sides what you need to do is you have to take log and the base of the log has to match with the base that you have for the exponent. So in this case, I will take log base e on both sides. And this way, log base e and the e will cancel each other out. Okay, so let me just write this down, you know, cancel them out to show you. And then on the right hand side, we will just get 0.025t. However, for log base e of 1.2, e is a special number, okay, e is a special number. If you want to do this, there's actually another key that we can use. So you take out your calculator. We only have a regular log, but we also have the ln button. And the ln button is exactly log base e. So we are going to do this as ln of 1.2. Okay, so let's do it together, punching ln and 1.2 like that. And we get 0 0.182. Okay. Instead of doing log base e, we'll just take ln and ln and e will cancel each other out as well. So maybe I'll write this down for you guys. Log base e, it's the same as and that's what we're doing right here. And the answer for this part right here is 0 0.182. 0 0.182. When you're doing the calculations, uh, just write down three decimal places along the way.
And once we take log base E on both sides, or ln on both sides, this is just a regular equation. 0 0.025 times t is equal to that. I can just divide by 0 0.025 on both sides. So I can cancel this out. And if I do that, I'll just show you. This is 0 0.182 divided by 0 0.025. My calculator will give me a fraction first. You just have to press the, um, the S2D button and I can get decimal. So I can get T is equal to 7.28 on the calculator. But then the direction says I want to run it to the nearest tenth place. And here's the tenth place. Here's the tenth place. So I have to look at the numbers to the right of this, which is the 8. That means I have to run up. So my answer, t will, you know, it's going to take about 7.3 years. And once again, because I run up.